Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Tug Dick Baseball. We're gonna go play a game against the Cubbies. Uh, our team's been playing pretty good. Look at Buster Posey, number two in the league for batting average. At uh, Jay Bruce, number one. Obviously, Tug Dick's got a way better batting average than either of those, but he doesn't have the minimum requirement to the amount of at bats, I think, to end up on there. Summertime by the Bay, AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. Get ready for Giants baseball next. Seems kind of inappropriate of us to try and club a Cub, but let's do it. Go Number Giants. Look at that drug addict two. huff on the mound. Harold, any thoughts? <laughs> it's like, yeah, Tug, I'm not doing point, drugs. Today, I hear you doing all the on. drugs. His bats against the right-handers, his approach against right-hand hitters, because right-handed hitters are hitting under 250 against him. And those are the guys that he's going to have to explore. Look at that. Tug Dick, three bases away from 100. He needs 130, I believe it is, to tie Ricky Henderson's record. Into the Bottom of the first two the outs. Tug yeah. Dick. <laughs> Is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Well, Harold, as we take a look at look that shifty motherfucker, tonight, <laughs> look at his eyes. You only do that if you've done something shifty. Like, did he steal some diamonds from a museum in San Fran? Whoa. Go on the road thinking, hey, if we can play 500 for the full road trip, we're in good standing. So, right now, you're in game two of the road trip, and you know what? If you win today, you're what? 500 so you're actually on goal that's why this game is a big one for you and to be on point and this one's chopped foul right at home plate uh one two count that was actually a decent pitch by the guy low in the zone Ball and two strikes. i thought he was gonna stay Here's in it pitch. two and two now with two gone here in the home half of the first Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. <laughs> Poor little kid on the left. He can barely see over the, the wall. The corner. They don't wall. like that he makes them throw the ball in the middle of the plate sometimes. But he will kind of reminds me of old pitch. movie stadium the theater the seating. And try to get that strike. Right, this pitcher has thrown ten pitches. Five of them have been to Tug Dick. Number six on the way. Over half of his pitches, pitches two, this two, inning have been to Tug time. Dick. Screw you, you stupid piece of up. shit, bat! <laughs> and the throw just does beat him at the bag. So oh my word, Tug Dick retired. almost beat that and out. The books tonight, still scoreless here on the Obviously, show. Tug Dick had a great attitude about that. If that bat hadn't exploded, maybe it would have been a better deal. Tug Dick, Ready 0 for, for 1. Chance. Tug Dick, he's fielder. 0 for 1 thus Tug far. Dick. We are down by a run. Ready to Bottom of the fourth. The first pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Now that is power. You want to challenge me? I'm going to give him a big swing. That was the big swing right there. I loved it. Did you like my big swing? Your Into lady likes when I swing my big dick. Oh, damn it. Slider up that, he gets a call <laughs> that dude is ice That's cold. He's like, I don't care. I'm just throwing another strike. Break like you expected to. His catcher looked grumpy, though. Freezes the hitter, and he got the call. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. No. Oh. Fouled back. A little late on that. That pitch looked beautiful, but just couldn't catch up with it. Another 0-2 home. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Screw you, Beardo. <laughs> that, that was actually a pretty good uh, throw, though. Strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter. Yeah, it was pretty close strikes. to the strike zone. That's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer. Tug Dick 0 for 2. Digging in once again. Tug Dick. No hits in two trips to the plate for him. We are down 5 to 0. Runner on second. Two outs. We need to get something going here and fast. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Well, it'd be nice if we could get a hit and get that run home. We gotta get something going. <laughs> Up top, it's I almost swung at that. I know what you're thinking. You probably thought of that with the Showtime view thing. Is he's gonna swing at it? He doesn't like a high ball, but no. That was a little too high, even for me. That ball's on them drugs. 
three and oh now. They must be scared of Dickalicious because they have not given him anything to hit yet. Keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Here's the three and oh pitch. That's our pitch. There's a swing and a come on, carry, carry. Why can't we beat a smaller ball park? Ballpark? Yes, it did carry enough. Two run home run. Cut their lead. Why is it waterfall over there? Are those fountains. Yeah, let's go Giants. Doug Dick doesn't hit a lot of home runs, but he tends to hit them when we need them. We got Hunter Pence home. Outfield buddies. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Trying to pick things up where we left off. And it didn't get out by a ton either. So Dick, one for three. Yeah, it's not like uh, stupid moss right behind now. us. It's a good thing we hit that home run. They've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. All right, put your rally caps on. Bottom of the eighth, two outs. We only have two runs, all because of Tug Dicks. <laughs> Trying to go out of the play again. That's a good announcement, me. <laughs> he's trying to hit another home run, is what I mean. He's still pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. The 0 1. I had him reaching it. Oh, that was a bad swing. That's a little desperate trying to do too much because our team has not done much of anything. All the RBIs right now are the dicks. just looked on that last pitch. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Chug Dick can strike out and yet he still gets out first. Hell yes. to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Remember, we need three more steals, too, to get to 100 stolen bases. Now, that's not going to break anybody's record. Well, maybe there's somebody who's like, I don't know, he's got 100, but whatever. Ricky Henderson's is what we want at 130. I'm going for second. Oh, man, Butchie's going to be mad if we don't make it. First pitch on its way. Pitch misses low. The throw down. 98. In there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Trying to make it easier on Brandon Moss too. Where hopefully a single can bring in a run. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. I don't normally like stealing third here when we get a left-handed hitter up to bat. But I have no faith in Moss, so. Runner breaks for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Safe. Not All right, 99 steals for the season. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs and in. Bochi is probably going to want to talk to us after this game or series. It isn't all that great, but he made it work out. It's a big benefit that we a cheap single will get in a run. We need runs desperately. It's bottom of the eighth. We're running out of outs to do something. Come on, Moss, do not strike out, you loser. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Come on, you jackass. Oh, Joe Flaherty. You have taught me all the ways of baseball heckling. This what's heckling. Go, 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 go! Gorgeous. You stupid loser. <laughs> and what a play. A beautiful jumping catch to put an end to the inning. Once again, Moss comes up short. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball. After oh no! I'm falling and I can't get up. Back now in Northern California. How frustrating. We get out on the stolen base, still two bases. And Brendan Moss comes up short. Now standing in. He's doubled and singled in four Wait, was that the pitcher? That can't be the pitcher. I think that's the catcher. <laughs> Tug Dick is confused when people have beards sometimes. Is everybody Santa? Dick, ranging forward. He can't get there as it falls in. Well, they came into this half inning hoping they could add some insurance to their lead. Nothing better than getting that first guy on to get things going. Uh, that was a nice hit by him. Not very good for us. 
I'm more concerned, though, about the fact that our team's offense well, has been non-existent. He puts another game on ice. That well, we lose to the Cubbies. For the season. Clearly, this guy is one of the best in the game. 5-2, the final score tonight. Chicago get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Jake Arrieta earn his ninth win of the Come year. Come on, uh, Giants, what's going on with y'all? So we lose. Tug Dick won for four. Sergio Crawford was three for four. Um, if it weren't for Tug Dick, we wouldn't have had any runs, though, in getting the home run. The rest of the team leaving people stranded. Let's do it again. Didn't we win the first game in the series I recorded last episode? I don't remember. Get excited, fans! Jump! Jump around! Between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. It's time for Giants baseball. Next. Tim Lincecum starts the game on the mound for the third and final game. Come on, of the Tim. Series. We need a win. Win with Tim. Need to know here, HR. Well, Matt, he's a rare breed in today's game. He doesn't rely on the strikeout. He's averaging less than seven strikeouts. We're already down 1-0, bottom of the first. He's a guy that's going to use... Wind's blown out to center. Oop. I didn't mean to bump that. Yeah, that was great. They're on a nice little run. Winners of four of their last five ball games. And Matt, you know, you look at the split right now, but they lost the first game, one to second one. So you're looking at momentum is on their side. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards them here in this third game. And he's got a pretty good slider and a decent fastball. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Matt, you know, Dixon's interesting. I've seen a lot of pitchers complain because he's the hitter's umpire. He's really tight on the corners. you got to basically put the ball in the middle of the plate. Oh, call. Pitchers can't <laughs> that was hit. just a defensive Rizzo. swing, Rizzo. which didn't really do much. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Just one of those that bats where it's like, oh, I think that might be in the zone. Crap. Digging in for his second at bat, Starlin Castro. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning. Oh, yeah. Crap. The runner's on first and second. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And the two Tug Day catching it for Thomas the Tank Engine and friend knockoffs in the left field. Couple of walks, but no damage. That's how you know I'm an old man. In the left field, we're the catching it. Oh, play with the balls. Pervy old man. <laughs> Starling Castro coming up again. Let's see. Oh, shit. Base is loaded. We're down by four runs. It's only the third inning. Lincecum's getting... Oh, Lincecum's already been pulled. He went like three... No, two and change. And he was... And the inning is over. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases. Yeah, Tim jam. Lincecum didn't even last three innings. He was getting rocked. Three. It's the Cubs four and the Giants nothing. Tug Dick 0 for 1. Stepping we got a runner in a second. One shot. out. Tug Sorry, two there. outs. We have one, one run. Here in this one. Yeah. Crap. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No. Here's a slider that's inside, 1-0. and Wind is blowing out. And it'd be nice if we could get under Honest something and hit it deep. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Coward? Well, here's a guy you afraid of the dick? Well Throw me something good to hit. Based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of... They might just be pitching around him too because to be they're scared of him and first is open. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three. All right, three and oh, I gotta take here, right? Know that they have to work inside, and sometimes even. Or does Dick get the green light? Dick is like, I always give myself the green light. That's why I got so many tickets. He set. Here's the three oh. This is. Oh, it's a good thing he gave himself the green light. Can we get another splash? He hit like three into the cold this year. Put that splash counter up to 65. I think 65. He said three that way this year. Eighth home run on the season for him as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Home runs in back-to-back -back games. He's like, thank Grob, not the baseball god. Hell yeah, Hunter Pence. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? 
side, hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. He was sitting on that, though. He was just looking for a high fastball. Digging in and looking for more. Tug Dick. He matches up with Jeff Samarja to get the end. We're only down by one run now, thanks to that two-run home run. Into the windup and the pitch. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Man, look at that. Fans still getting loud in the Nothing sixth here. One count. Here it comes. Ooh, that was lower than I thought it was going to be. Back-to-back -back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Come on, Tug Dick. It'd be nice to hit another one out or just get on. We're only down by a run. We got to get revenge for the last game. Vengeance! Uh, not quite a home run. <laughs> Oh, well. Grounded right over the shortstop. He tried. You gotta admit, he hustles. You don't end up with 99 stolen bases if you don't hustle. Riding in once again, Tug Dick. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. We scored some runs, but we're still down by one run. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Come on, we gotta get something going here. I'm gonna be so pissed if we lose this game. And that's in for uh, we probably won't get two out of that. Afternoon. That's right. The important thing is we got a solid single. Maybe we can get our hundredth stolen base of the year. That's a big leadoff hit late in the game right there. Now you're down one to get the leadoff guy on. Now he can do a lot of Remember there are no outs. So if we can get to third. Maybe somebody can get us home. Now, Brandon Moss. Moss has a home run this game, too? Wow. Brandon Moss. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. I swear he plays great when Tug Dick is not on base. We're going for it. I don't know if we're going to make it. It was a bad throw. Thank God that was a bad throw. <laughs> Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. I got, got worried because the, the pitcher had a good so throw to home, the but the catcher, you know, he, he's look at that—he threw it on the wrong side of the base. Stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. No, oh, we're not going. Third. Pitch outside the throw. <laughs> throw won't get him. Six runs, Little cat and hits. mouse. That's, and no that should be 100 the stolen bases the on the year for Mr. Tug Dig. And the runner's breaking for third. And that is what we were waiting for right there. The high leg kick. He thought he was a part of the Rockets. They just can't let guys get lead like that. Especially 101. Behind the plate isn't known for his like a certain vault and fallout. Third, and they just kind of gave it to him. All right, no outs. Potential tying run on third. No excuse not to tie the ball game up. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Now, typical Brandon Moss, he will strike out here. All he needs to do is hit it deep, pop fly, or put it on the ground. That last take is a great example. Come on, let's tie this thing up, Giants. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down. Full count. Three. Walks are never good, but there is that Mr. Buster Posey on deck? Like this. Nobody I'd rather like see there. Come back to bite. From the belt, the pitch, and he takes strike. Three. And he strikes out. There needs to be a button to flip off your team members, because right now I'm giving him two one-finger salutes. You loser! All the time he peeks out. Buster Posey, though, two for three. Hit 3.30. I'm so mad at Moss. Trying not to lose my shit. That's all right. Good eye. See, Buster Posey, he's got plate discipline, unlike Moss. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Maybe that's why we lost last game. Because Moss is number four in the lineup. We don't play as well. We're incredibly streaky. 
Six runs, seven hits, and no errors. I mean, last the season was that way, too. Score. Second half of the year, especially. Chopped oh, the I almost got excited. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is chopped foul near well, the plate. Staying alive. To one and two now. Come on. Well, I think that was the second strike, so it doesn't really matter. Come on, Mr. Posey. Just put it into play. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Come on, Buster Posey. Out of play. One out and a runner on Man, this third. place is sold out. Look how packed it is. I don't blame them though. We're first in the West. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close. Hey, to that shows some right, good so hitting at the plate, though. He had a one two count. Out. He's worked it back to full. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Yeah! No, 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 no! Yes! Perfect! You idiot! You should have gone for the play on first. Instead, Buster Posey got on first, and we got the run in. Tied ball game. All right, we have runners on first and second, bottom of the ninth. Yeah! Get home, motherfucker! But he can't make the play, and it's through into right. And he is in there. And the Giants will walk off. There we go. Walk off win. Tug Dick with the RBI single to win it. Hell yeah, Dickalicious. Can't get enough of the dick. It's like, don't hit me in the head, boys. <laughs> They had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. There we go. Just that's all we needed was an RBI single. Guy got home from second. I think he was on second. Look at that, and we win. Yeah, Tugdick has got to be player of the game. He's really starting to put up some RBIs now. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see. So what right means you do it well? I thought Brandon Moss is. Oh my God, I'm wet. It's no stinky again. Not just in, in my pants. Knocks, you guys. <laughs> Without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. A close one, eight to seven is how it finishes today. Yeah, that was the a hell of a game. Earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks. So, Dick, three for four, best on the team. Wow, Rizzo for the Cubbies was four for five. Why don't we go see where we are in the standings? Look at that. Home run, single got all the way around, and then at the end got the single to knock in the winning run. Three for five. That's a 600 day. As I mentioned, the fact he's hit home runs in back to back games, which is amazing because he's only hit like eight home runs. I think this entire season. Look at that. Over 100 stolen bases in the season. He's at 101. Uh, let's go look at the standings. We're three and a half games up on the Diamondbacks. The first half of the month was horrible, or we'd be running away with it. Looks like the Dodgers, Padres, and Rockies are basically done for the year. Uh, and the Central Cardinals are three games up on the Reds. Braves, four games up on the Mets. In the American League, the Mariners are two games up on the Rangers. Um, well, Tigers, yes! The Tigers are tied with the White Sox for first place. And in the American League East, the Rays are nine games up on the Red Sox. Uh, well, how much time do we got to go? Let's see. So we're in the middle of August. We've still got August, all of September... You know, about a almost two months, a little less than two months left in the season, uh, regular season. We're in really good shape. That being said, we're only three and a half games up on the Diamondbacks, I think it was. So we can't afford to let up. And we got to play the Nationals next, who traditionally give us a hard time. I'll see you all hopefully next time. Thanks for hanging out.